to it. One blade just barely clears the point of the steelwork. At the first generator, Ele Sangil waits and watches. His crew has erected dozens of blades before, but never onto a bridge and never between two buildings. The wind remains steady, but changes direction. Mm, we have some gusts actually coming from the backside. It will tend to push the rotor out. And, and we don't want it swinging too much back and forth, so the, the boys on the ground have to be a little bit alert on that. If the wind picks up any more, the blades may become impossible to control. The lift would have to be aborted. If the wind picks up and we have to bring it back down, it's going to be very hard for us to bring it down safely and back down here. We'd have to do it, or, or we'd park it lower down and wait for another window, but... Uh, I don't want to be doing that. I don't really want to talk about this, to be honest. <laughs> the blades reach 61 metres level with the first bridge. Only 3.8 metres separate blade tip and tower wall. The team must work quickly to dock the blades. There's a problem. Yes. They can't get them flush with the generator. The wind from behind forces them back. You see a stop? Yeah. Lift supervisor Dave Root orders the men below to release the guide ropes. They'll try to control it from the bridge. They just need to follow it. So, so if I can't hold it for some reason, because we have a gust, then they don't need to take it. Yeah. It's docked. They must get a couple of bolts on quickly to secure it. Thank you. Great. First one up. This one. <laughs> <laughs> They've made history today. The first turbine ever mounted on a skyscraper. This turbine alone is expected to generate about 400 megawatt hours of electricity a year, enough to power almost 100 average European homes. The wind's energy will hit the aerodynamic blades, forcing them to rotate up to 38 times per minute. The blades will turn a low-speed shaft, which connects to a gearbox. The gears inside will drive another high-speed shaft, spinning it approximately 1,500 times a minute. This will power the generator, producing clean energy for the Bahrain World Trade Center. But there are still two more to go. As they go higher, the winds will increase. Even with ropes, controlling the blades as they ascend to the upper bridges will be a battle. On the following morning, conditions deteriorate further. Heavy winds blanket the city of Al Manama with sand and dust. The crew can only assemble the second set of blades. The consistent winds here mean these turbines will be able to produce a lot of energy. But the frequent storms also highlight the risks of having turbines so close to people. This turbine is sitting in the middle of, uh, that we have a shopping mall below it, we have offices on the side of it, and we really need to make sure that we don't have any accidents with it. These blades have been designed to withstand hurricane force winds over 252 kilometers per hour. To avoid a catastrophe, the number of safety features on each blade has been doubled. If a blade ever snaps, thick steel cables in the core will hold it together and prevent pieces from flying off. 
If there's ever a problem, a retractable tip can be released. In the offset position, it will create a huge drag force, stalling the blades in seconds. The second set of blades is ready, but the wind is still too strong. The lift must be postponed. On the following morning, the wind's speed is still too high to lift the blades. But workers can make progress in some of the building's other green technologies. While the turbine will work to generate electricity, the building also incorporates features that will help conserve it. There's a number of key features which are incorporated into the design, which are more passive uh, orientated in terms of reducing the energy consumed in the building. To combat the harsh Arabian sun, double-glazed tinted windows will reduce 85% of the heat absorbed into the Bahrain World Trade Center. Efficient air conditioning systems will also slash the high cost of cooling the building in the searing heat. High efficiency fluorescent lighting on every floor will further reduce energy consumption. Overall, the building should consume half the energy of other skyscrapers in the area. The afternoon brings a brief lull. The crew must seize the hour. When we get near the top, OK, I don't want the knots going through there. So we pull it, pull it, pull it. And then when we're near... This time, they've learned the lessons of the first lift. All right, that's on both sides. You understand, yeah? The wind is from the north. This should push the blades in towards the generator and help the crew get both flush with each other. OK. Release. Compared to the first lift, this one goes without a hitch. Two up, one to go. The crew gets closer to its goal. But the final blade will pose the greatest challenge. The top bridge is the hardest because we have the, the controlling ropes will have a very steep angle, so we have more difficulty in controlling it. Simon Hill is also nervous about mounting the blades on the highest bridge. The top bridge is a big fear for us. That, that top bridge, the wind is always very strong as you get nearer the top. We've talked about it this morning. When we've looked at the weather forecast, we think we've got a window of opportunity to get bridge three up. It's going to be very close. The conditions need to be perfect. If we get a gust just as we're about to, to pin and it, and it rips the pin out, then you, you can't control it. You haven't got the strength to control something like that. You have to make sure it's perfect. It's not worth taking a risk. The Danish team goes to the top bridge to assess the situation. 133 meters above the city of Almanama, they prepare the generator. The wind measures 25 kilometers per hour, higher than the cutoff speed of 21. It's not perfect, but the forecast isn't good either. If they lose this window, they may have to wait days before they get the chance again. It's a tough call. The lift crew waits for the go-ahead. But the final decision remains with the Danish team. Wind speed, please. The wind still measures 25 kilometers per hour, but the Danish team can't decide. It feels a little bit different from the read between the readings and what we can feel up here. They need to make a decision soon.
Yeah, wind speed's now 23. Well, it, the question is, at the moment, is it safe to lift at the moment? Uh, no, we, we are just, uh, we, we don't want to take a risk. Now we think it's just on okay. the high side. Okay. We don't think they will hold it with a rope and bounce there. OK, that's all. We'll drop it back down, we'll take an early lunch and we'll make a decision as soon as we come back. OK. They call it off. When the crew returns, the wind is still at 23 kilometres per hour. Dave, as soon as you can, as soon as you can, get it over. still higher than the cutoff of 21. But if the forecast is correct, this is their last chance for days. That's a goal, is it? It's 23 up there at the moment. It's, got, it's very stable. They've gone up to the bridge. They've given us a thumbs up. We're going to start lifting now. They've already gone up to the bridge, so we're ready to go. Hook up. Navi! Navi! Take the hook up. Up! Yeah, we had a bit of a, a, a coiled up rope problem down here. We're just free in the rope. At the worst possible moment, the wind picks up. You don't have control or anything. The Danes stop the lift. Well, you keep an eye on it. Nice and tight, yeah? The rope handlers struggle to regain control of the blades. Okay, pull on it, pull on it. You carry on going up, yeah? We're as high as we can on the hooks. We're tight here. Once they stabilize the blades... We go up, keep it tight. The lift resumes. The crane drives the blades in slowly to avoid giving them too much momentum. We've probably got about another, about another 10, 15 metres to go. All we've got to do down here is just keep it nice and tight. The blades reach 133 metres. <laughs> now the bridge crew takes control. They've got to get it bolted on quickly. Nervous moments. Before the wind picks up any more. We can't bring it down. Certainly not in a very controlled manner anyway. Yeah. It's on. Fantastic. Okay, let it go. Let it go. That's it. Well done, lads. Thank you. It was very, very, very pleasing to see that. Just to hear the noise when you can hear the wings hitting the turbine, you can feel it in the bridge. We're just bringing the ropes down now. Cranes are free to go. We finished down here. So we can put all the gear away, put the men back to work. I'm gonna have a cup of tea. <laughs>